Governor DeSantis issued a stay-at-home order for all Floridians effective 12.01 a.m. on April the 3rd. This order limits personal movements and actions of citizens outside their home to only those necessary to obtain or provide essential services or to conduct essential activities. A list of essential services and activities can be found at floridadisaster.org. You're still able to go to the grocery store, pharmacy, gas station, and convenience stores. This order does not stop you from caring for a loved one and making sure their needs are met. It also allows people to engage in recreational activities, such as running, biking, hunting, and fishing. I want to remind you to be sure when you engage in any and all of these activities that you are still adhering to the CDC guidelines for social distancing. Effective March 28th, Governor DeSantis suspended vacation rentals and prohibited parties from making new reservations and accepting new guests. This does not include any long-term rentals that are longer than 30 days and does not include hotels or motels. If anyone has a complaint regarding a vacation rental, they should contact the Florida Department of Business and Professional Regulations at 850-487-1395 or online at myfloridalicense.com. The Gulf County Board of County Commissioners has extended their beach closure ordinance until further notice. According to the emergency ordinance, the beach includes all sandy beach areas from the water to the frontal dune. If no dune exists, then it is from the water to the first line of vegetation or construction, whichever is more seaward. The ordinance may be viewed online on our resource page at www.gulfsheriff.com. We appreciate the people who are complying with the order and after an educational campaign and numerous warnings, we have had to criminally charge 18 individuals for violating the order. Deputies will continue to enforce the beach closure. For the health and safety of the public and Sheriff's Office employees, the lobby at our main office is closed until further notice. The office maintains its hours of normal operation Monday through Friday, 9 to 5 Eastern Time. A call box is available at the main entrance to continue to provide service to the public. Applicant fingerprinting has been suspended until further notice. Anyone required by statute to register as a felon, sex offender, or sexual predator shall report in person to the Sheriff's Office as required by law. We're working on a solution to provide deputies with the ability to remotely speak to citizens, conduct interviews, and take statements for certain complaints. Until this platform has been established, we will continue to respond to calls for service and adhere to CDC guidelines for social distancing. I appreciate your understanding as I continue to make adjustments to our operations for the health and safety of the public and Sheriff's Office employees.